Guys, literally look what I manifested. I manifested this. Aaliyah, if you're watching this video, thank you. You know what I'm talking about. Guys, I manifested a Hello Kitty stuffed animal. This is not a lie, this is not a joke. I am that bitch. Let's get into the video. Hello, wonderful people, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very important video. I'm gonna be answering one of the most frequently asked questions I ever get, which is how to manifest love. This can be a relationship, this can be your soulmate, this can be your crush, even just somebody to talk to, really anything. This can work in any form. I'm going to be explaining how to manifest your crush in the sense of like somebody you already know in your life, but I'm also going to be explaining how to manifest just a relationship in general, like you don't have to necessarily know the person, but you just want to be with somebody. I'm going to be explaining how to do both of those things. They're a little bit different, but they're both very doable and easy in fact if you know how to do it right let's get right into it I am actually so excited to teach you guys about this one because it's just like it's it's one of the most common things asked I think also just in general like when it comes to manifesting so many people want to manifest a relationship I'm really excited to teach you guys how to do it I might make more videos on it in the future because there's a lot to say and I don't know if I can explain every little thing in this one video but I want to give you guys something to work off of and so I am gonna be getting into it manifesting a crush and then just a relationship in general is a little bit different but they both boil down to the same first step. You have to learn to love yourself. You have to, you have to. There is no way out, you can't escape it. Guys, I know it sounds kind of cliche and you always say, oh, how can you love somebody else if you don't love yourself? It's true, you really can't because think about it, you may be able to get into a relationship even if you don't love yourself, but when you're in a relationship and you don't love yourself, you're depending on that person for your happiness. And you can't force anybody to stay in your life. And if and when that person leaves, you're gonna lose that happiness because you were depending on them for it. And you can't really depend on anybody in this life except for yourself. As much of a pill that is to swallow, it's the truth. So you have to learn to love yourself. The other reason for that is, as I explained in my last video, when I talked about raising your vibration, the reason why the law of attraction works in the first place is because since everything is vibrating at a different frequency and you're attracting what you're in vibrational alignment with into your life, you can attract anything as long as you match it vibrationally. So if you don't love yourself, and you are placing the person that you wanna be with on this pedestal above you and you're looking at them like, I wanna be with this person and you're like idolizing them, you're also putting yourself down on a lower pedestal. Therefore, you're not gonna be able to attract them because you're not gonna be in vibrational alignment. Think about this in like your day-to-day -day life. If somebody has a crush on you and they're a little bit obsessed with you, a little bit needy, if you can tell that this person is just clearly obsessed with you, it's just not that attractive in general. This also isn't for everybody, but I feel like in a general sense, like people tend to like it when they have to chase someone a little bit more. Like we usually end up liking the people that are not so obsessed with us. We end up liking the people that are a little bit harder to get because we crave the attention more because it's not so easy to get. And it's the same thing when attracting a relationship or love in general. If you're obsessing over this person and you're coming across as very needy, even if you're not doing that to their face, they can feel that vibrational energy even subconsciously and it's just gonna be so much harder to attract them. A way to match yourself vibrationally with the person you're trying to attract or just a relationship in general is that you have to learn to put your crush or the other person whoever it may be, on the same pedestal as you. This goes for anything that you're trying to manifest too. If you're putting something on this high pedestal, it's gonna be so much harder to attract because if you're putting it above you, then you're putting yourself at a lack of it, saying that you don't already have it. You attract what you believe. So if you believe that this person is above you and better than you, you're not gonna be able to attract them. You're gonna be attracting more of that energy, more of that I don't have them. You're attracting the lack of that person rather than already having them. If you're putting them in a alignment with you, then you can think about it like, it's so easy for me to attract this person. 
and if you're already manifesting it you can even think about it in the present tense where it's like i already have this person if you believe that you already have them or that you can easily get them then that's what you're attracting your belief is everything you can't fake it till you make it with the universe you can't put up a front what you believe is always going to be what drives your manifestations so you have to put them at the same level as you and the next thing that you have to do is raise your vibration my whole last video was entirely about how to raise your vibration so i definitely recommend you go check that out if you're trying to manifest somebody or just manifest something in general because raising your vibration is always super important when it comes to manifesting your crush this is somebody you already know in real life you have to start speaking things into existence you cannot keep saying even if you're just talking to your friends or just thinking in your own time that this person is too good for you that you can't get them you have to ditch that mindset completely because if that's what you think that's what's gonna become true you have to believe that they are already yours. I know this sounds weird and you're gonna feel like you're lying to yourself maybe a little bit at first, but you can think about it in one of two ways. You can think about it, oh, I'm lying to myself and this isn't true, which is actually just attracting more negativity. Or you can think about it that you already have them mentally and it's just a matter of time before it comes into the physical. Anything that happens here, can happen here if you can think it you can have it so when you are manifesting a person you manifest it just the same way that you manifest anything else you can do this by scripting you can do this by visualizing anything you have to imagine that this person is already yours you have to live in that state start referring them to your friends as your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your significant other just start living in that place next you have to stop obsessing over them if they were already yours and you were already dating them, you wouldn't be obsessed with them because again, if your mind believes that you already have them, then it's going to be so much easier to attract them because that's what's in your path of alignment. Definite techniques that you should use when trying to manifest this person. Visualizing. You need to start visualizing yourself being with this person in the relationship. You have to experience the feelings that would come with being with this person and then you have to live in that state. Visualizing is super powerful because it allows your mind to feel as if you already have what you're trying to manifest and if you feel like you already have it then you won't feel so desperate for it. The next thing you can do is script. When it comes to scripting this is what I suggest. Get a notebook, get a pen, and just start writing. Just start writing about your relationship. Just start writing about everything in the present tense. Write about your dates. Write about this person, how they treat you, how you treat them, how your relationship is. Write about it in every aspect. Feel those good feelings and then let it go. Live in a place of already having them. There are many different specific techniques you can use, such as the 333 method and the 555 method, which I explained um, maybe, I think, two or three videos ago. There are other methods that you can use to manifest more specific things like text from this person, such as the 369 method, which you can look up online or I can do more videos on in the future. But at the end of the day, all the techniques that you're using have to boil down to the fact of feeling that you already have this person so at this point you love yourself you've raised your vibration and you're thinking about it like i am a bad bitch i can get anyone i want including my crush you can get this person now at the end of the day you do have to let the universe take control and figure out the when and the how because you have to believe in divine timing and you have to be able to let it go Still though, you might have to take a little bit of action yourself. This is going to be action coming from the universe. Sometimes if you're manifesting something, you may get little urges or little feelings of intuition to do something. If that happens, then you have to follow it. The universe cannot physically come down as a human being and be like, go do this but it will give you little pushes in the direction of what to do. For example, if you're manifesting your crush, they're not just gonna pull up to your doorstep. Actually, they might. It would be nice if they would just pull up to your doorstep and be like, yo, I like you. Like, that would be great. But sometimes it takes a little bit of effort on your part. So first of all, that comes with yourself. You're manifesting this person, you love yourself, and you already are feeling like you have them. You're visualizing, you're scripting, you're doing all of this. Now it is time to start working on yourself get yourself ready for that relationship because it is coming start bettering yourself and start preparing yourself take care of yourself nurture yourself and just live in a place of already having them now if you're manifesting somebody that you don't already know and you're just trying to manifest a relationship in general the thing that's different about that than manifesting your crush is that you have to create the person that you want by yourself so this is what i would suggest doing take a notebook 
take a pen and just start listing qualities. Now, when I say this, I don't really mean physical qualities because when you're doing that, you're limiting the amount of possibilities that the universe can give you. If you decide that this person is this height and has this color hair, whatever, like whatever it may be, it's just limiting your opportunities. The perfect person for you may not have the color of hair that you have in your mind now. Start listing more the qualities that you want this person to have. Are they super funny? Are they super outgoing? Are they super smart? How do they treat you? What are their friends like? That kind of thing. And just start explaining your relationship. Now, take a look at this list when you're done and think about what qualities you bring to the table and what qualities this person you're trying to manifest brings to the table. Now, again, you have to start preparing yourself for this relationship because it is on the way. If you're saying that in your relationship, you and your significant other go out all the time. Maybe that's what you want to start doing for yourself. You have to start becoming the person that you will be inside of this relationship because this person can't just come into your life and then you're going to morph into that person. Like You have to start preparing yourself for it already. So you want to list out all of these qualities and then you're just going to have to start living in a place of already having them. When you're trying to find a relationship, you might constantly be saying, oh, I'm so lonely. Like I want to be in a relationship. I have nobody so on and so forth and when you're saying that that is what you're attracting so you have to start living in a place of oh well I'm already dating somebody like I already have this and if you believe that you already have that you're not gonna be longing for it since you believe that you already have it you're attracting it because you attract what you believe so you have to always live in the present place you have to live in the as if of already having this person this actually goes for manifesting somebody that you don't know or your crush you just have to believe that you already have them i literally cannot stress this point enough keep an open mind the universe will surprise you in ways you have never expected just imagine what you want write it all down describe what you want and the universe will give it to you just start saying yes more you know, just start exploring your options and knowing that it's coming. It could be completely unexpected, but when you start cutting things off and being like, oh, but not that, oh, but not that, like you might be cutting yourself out of something that is amazing. You never know what could happen. So guys, at the end of the day, the main thing here to know is that you can have anybody you want. You have to believe that. You have to be that bitch. Use affirmations always. Start living in a place of already having this person 100%. You don't want to think, oh, I'm so lonely. Oh, I want a boyfriend. Oh, I want a girlfriend. Oh, I want a relationship. No, you can't live in that space because when you're thinking like that, then you're attracting more lack. You're attracting more neediness. You're attracting more of that same energy. Just live in a place and think to yourself, oh, like I'm already with them. Like, what do you mean? And you can do like little things too, like to start this off. Like if this is a specific person that you're trying to manifest, you can manifest texts from them. You can do any of this. And people always ask for specific techniques to manifest certain things. But at the end of the day, anything can be manifested and it's all kind of under the same umbrella. It all goes down to living in the as if of already having this thing. And at the end of the day, what you want to do is visualize and script. Before you go to bed, just start imagining these snippets in your head of you being with this person. And when you wake up in the morning, just start writing. Just start writing about you being with this person and just start imagining this life. And keep your eyes open and know that it is coming. But guys, the reason why I always say is that you have to love yourself first is because if you're attracting this amazing, beautiful relationship and then you're feeling lonely, upset, and not loving yourself, how is that gonna happen? Like, it's really just not going to happen. So yes, you wanna imagine the person that you're trying to manifest and write about them, but you also want to imagine yourself. Become your highest self. Start visualizing the person you want to be. Start writing about the person you want to be and become that person. That is the most powerful thing you can do because when you love yourself and believe that you can have anything, then that starts to come true. Loving yourself is always the most important thing because when you are vibrating at a high frequency, you're attracting things that are also vibrating at high frequencies. If you're at a low vibrational place, you might be able to attract a relationship anyway, but it's gonna be one that is at the same vibration as you. So to attract the best, most happiest relationship possible, you wanna be at that high vibration. 
And again, if you are at that amazing high vibration, then you might end up with a different person than you had originally intended because that person might be vibrating at a lower frequency than you thought. Again, you can manifest anyone, but the universe knows best and has divine timing. But again, you don't have to manifest your soulmate or the person you'll be with forever. The bottom line is for attracting anybody that you want, you just have to become the person that you're trying to attract because you attract what you are. Manifesting love is the same as manifesting anything else. You have to live in the end result. You have to live in already having it. When you're living in a place of not having it, you're attracting not having it. So always live in the end result. And just be clear again about what you want. The more specific, the better, because the more specific you are, the more the universe has to work with. The universe will give you exactly what you ask for. And the more you narrow it down, the easier it becomes. With that being said, like I said before, always keep an open eye and don't shut out opportunities because you never know when it's going to come and where it's going to come. You also have to block your limiting beliefs. You can do this through meditation and just raising your vibration in general. If you believe that you can't have this person, then you're not going to have them plain and simple. I understand that that is hard to do and it can't just be done in the snap of a finger, but it does have to be done. And that's why I always say that first you have to love yourself and first you have to raise your vibration. As annoying as that may be, it has to be done. Also, start following your gut, start following your intuition. If the universe is telling you and you just have a gut feeling to go do something or go somewhere, do it. If you have a gut feeling, oh, I should go out with my friends tonight, then do it. You never know what could happen there. You always have to follow and trust your gut because the universe is gonna send you messages through that. Also, you can ask the universe for signs. Just live in a place of gratitude and fulfillment. Everything that you want will come to you. Just first, you have to become that person that gets all of those things. Imagine your highest self, become your highest self, and you will get everything that comes with that. You can have anything that you want in this life once you believe that it's yours. Express gratitude to the universe all the time and just live in this place of abundance and fulfillment and just know that you are a bad bitch and you can have anything and anyone you want. Believe that, affirm it, live in it and let it go and trust and just follow your gut because you might have to take a little bit of action here and there, but the universe is gonna lead you in that direction. Don't start stressing about how am I gonna do this? It will happen. Just trust the universe and follow your gut. Also, you guys, let go of fear. Just let go of fear and just do whatever you want. I don't care if you're afraid. You don't need to be afraid. Just do whatever. You're a bad bitch. You can have anything you want. I love you. Love yourself. You are going to have everything that you want in this life. If you can believe it, then you can have it. So just believe it and let go of stress, of fear, of worry. You guys can do this. I love you. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited for all of you to manifest love and relationships. And thanks so much for coming to my video. I'll see you guys next time.